Welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a third year teacher in West Michigan and today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally post. Normally on this channel there are a bunch of teaching and lifestyle type vlogs, but today I'm going to be attempting to do a tech tutorial. I would not consider myself the most tech savvy person, but I am pretty good at problem solving and figuring things out when I have my heart set on something. So if you do love tech type videos, I would recommend going over to my friend Ashley's channel. She is Hey Ashley G here on YouTube as well as on TikTok and Instagram and she films a ton of tech tutorials and she actually helped me figure out a couple of things that I did in my slideshow. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before I jump into sharing my slideshow with you, I did want to let you know that there will be a free template in the description box below for you to just make a copy of and just kind of embed your own pictures and text and stuff within that. So if you don't want to make your very own from scratch, I will have that available and this is what it looks like. So when you open the link in the description box, it will force you to make a copy and you can see there's little boxes for you to put your own text in and your own pictures and all that fun stuff so this will be down below so this is the slideshow that I made for my students and I'm really really excited about it it did take a long time it was a lot of work but I'm very happy with how it turned out so I'm just gonna quickly run through this and then I'll walk through some of the specifics for like how to make a gif or gif with the transparent background and all that fun stuff but let's just quickly go through this so you can see what I included on my meet the teacher in case you're wondering what to include on yours so the first slide I just have a welcome to my students I'm so glad you're here and then it says click here to see what's in the slideshow so this will link to slide two which is my table of contents now if I have this in the edit mode like it is right now then this link isn't going to work it's just going to show me what it links to I actually do need to have it in present mode for those links to actually be clickable and bring me to different spots within the PowerPoint so that's something to be mindful of when you're sharing this with your students when you press present mode then I can press that and it will bring me where I want to go Go. So then I have my table of contents or like my menu or whatever you want to call it where I share everything that's going to be within this meet the teacher and just some directions for my students on how they can use the slideshow. So press any of the squares to the left to go to that slide or use your forward arrow key to go through the slideshow in order. So they have a couple different options. Then this way they can have some choice and you know jumping around if they want to or they can just choose to go in order. And then I included this little icon down at the bottom right hand corner of every slide if they want to go back to the home page they can press that and then it will bring them back to the home page so then they can go back to the menu and then they could go in any order they wish so let's say they see the word books and they get excited and so they press books I love they will start at that slide even though it's toward the end of the slideshow so let's go back to the home page back to the menu and we're just gonna go through this in order and I'm actually going to exit out so you can see it just a little bit smaller but the first thing that I included is a quick hello video this is about 30 seconds long just me saying hello to my students and introducing myself as being mrs. Halls and just saying that I'm so excited to get to know them this school year. Then I have this slide which says meet Mrs. Halls and I thought it would be fun to share me with a mask and without a mask because if we are back in person I will be wearing a mask all the time and so I want them to know what I look like underneath that mask and that I'm you know still smiling at them and still loving them even though I might have a mask covering up my face. So I just gave some really really brief details on the slide. You can read through it if you choose to. And then I have this slide which is two truths and a lie. I love playing this game with my students especially on the first couple days of school. And so I thought this would be a fun way to encourage them to send me an email right away and maybe make a guess about which one might be a lie. So I'm not gonna give this away, but if you have a guess, you're more than welcome to leave it in a comment below as well. Then I made a video here. I will show you guys this because I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. It did take a little bit of work, but it's about a minute long video, maybe a little bit less, where I share some of my favorite things. And then I also have pictures of my favorite things along kind of the border or the edge of the slide. And I will share how I got those pictures in there as well, but let's just go ahead and watch that video first. So here we go. Hey there, Mrs. Halls here, and I thought I would share 10 things that I love with you. I love books. I love going to the beach. I love fruit. I love my cat whose name is Jack, even though sometimes he's really naughty. I love the color yellow. I love Chick-fil-A, especially their breakfast. I love drinking lots of water. I love riding my bike. I love going on long walks, and I love scary movies. Now that you know 10 things that I love, go ahead and send me an email if you'd like to with 10 things that you love. My email address is on the last slide in the slideshow. All right, so that gives you an idea. It's just a really quick video. So after I share my favorite things with them, as you saw in the video, one of my favorite things 
is reading or books. And so I thought it would be fun to share books that I love because I want my students to recognize me as being a reader right away. And I want that to be super prevalent. And so I just put some of the titles that I really love and then another little gif or gif or whatever of me opening up a book that I love. Then on this last slide, I have contact information. Now my side will have my contact information in it, but I took that out just for safety reasons. So this is the one that you'll see on my template that's down in the description box. But basically I'm gonna have my email, my Twitter, which most of the teachers in my school have their own Twitter. So my like school Twitter and then my phone number, but I am using Google Voice, which allows you to put in your phone number and then they'll give you like an alias phone number kind of, and you can set it up so that way you're not giving out your personal phone number. So that is what I did for that one. So that is my entire slideshow right here. And now let's jump into how to do some of these things. So I chose to actually design this Google slideshow in PowerPoint. Now this is not necessary, but I like to do it to make it more cute and fun because if you go to Google Slides, the fonts are so limited and what you can do with them is very limited. But if you do it in PowerPoint, you can download fonts off of the internet and use whichever ones you choose. So I just made a regular presentation. I didn't even name it yet. I should probably do that. <laughs> but basically I made this. The background is a digital paper that I bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers. So I will link that below. And pretty much all of the fonts that I have in here, I bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers as well. So I will have those listed down below and I'll quickly go through those so you can see what's what. So for all of the titles, I use BN Heights Boulevard. And then this is BN Green Tea Flavor. And then I think the only other one that I used was AG Lazy Level Expert Bold. So those are the fonts that I used. I'll have those listed in the description box as well if you'd like to know. Um, but yes, I bought all of those off of Teachers Pay Teachers and I love them. I love having cute fonts. So in this video, I'm not going to be able to explain how to do every single thing in PowerPoint. If you've never used it before, I would highly recommend going on YouTube and I'll put a link below, but just searching how to make TPT products using PowerPoint or something like that. And then they will show you how to do a ton of different things, but I've watched so many different videos and it really does take a lot of playing around with it to figure out how you like to do it. And so I'm not gonna explain every single thing in this video, but I would highly recommend checking out those videos below if you're more of a beginner and you've never made anything in PowerPoint before. But basically I'm going to try to go through a few of the things that I think I'll get the most questions about. So for all of these, what I did is when I was ready to import it into Google Slides, I highlighted the entire slide like this. And then I'm on a Mac. So I pressed command C and then command V when I was trying to insert it into the Google slide. So that way it would insert as a picture. You also could export each of these as a JPEG by pressing export and then exporting them as JPEGs. I think it's easier to just copy and paste them. So that's what I did. But you'll notice anything that I had clickable, I put off to the side, not every single thing. I can show you another way to do it for like the menu slides. But most of the things that are clickable, I put separate because I actually pasted those as separate pictures into Google Slides to make them clickable. For example, with this, I'm gonna copy that. So I press Command C. Now I'm going over to Google Slides and I'm gonna press Command V, which will paste it in. And then because this is a separate image, I can move it anywhere versus this is one image. So it all moves together and that's a separate image. So that moves as one. So this, I can press the link button right here, insert link, and then I can press, it says paste a link or search. Well, I want it to go to a certain slide. So I'm gonna press slide in this presentation and then I can press any slide that I want. So if I want to go to slide seven, I press slide seven and then apply and then that's where it will bring you. So you'll notice that I made two of almost all of the slides and I did that because I knew I was making a template one and then one for me. And so I had to make a couple different variations. <laughs> so that's why there's two of some of them. And I'll just go through this. Now, any spot where there's just like a blank open space, it's because I inserted either a GIF or a photo. I'll show you how to make that in just a second. But before I do that, I do wanna show you how to insert these images and remove the background. So basically you're gonna go to Google and you're gonna search for whatever it is that you want to include in your presentation presentation. So let's say I want a yellow OPI nail polish. I'm going to search for that and go to images. I'm going to find the image that I want to include. So I think I included this one right here. And then I'm going to copy the image. 
I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint and I'm going to paste my image. And you'll notice it has a white background, which I don't love. You definitely could leave it like this, but I prefer to remove the background. So what I do is I double click on that image and then I press this remove background tool right here. And then it will allow me to mark the areas I wanna keep or the areas I wanna remove. All of that purple right now is going to be removed. So I wanna mark the areas to keep. So that right there, I wanna include all this down here. And sometimes you have to play around with it a little bit more. Sometimes it does a perfect job on the first try and sometimes it takes quite a while to get exactly what you want there. But then it will end up looking like this and then you can resize it, make it big or small. You can put it on an angle, whatever you want. It actually is a different one than that one, isn't it? But similar. So same thing with all of these other pictures, I just removed the background. And then for this slide, I left some room because I included a video in the middle. For any of these boxes that you see that are slightly transparent, I just put the transparency at around 13 to make it so you could still see that background paper just because that's how I like it to look. For the gradient text, if I double click on this, it will give me the shape options and text options. For the text options, I did gradient fill, and then I like the radial one, and then you just put in four colors. So I always do like yellows, oranges, pinks, those types of things. Not always, but usually <laughs> those are the colors I really like together. And then this right here, you can see I have just no fill, and then I have a solid outline, and then I layer it right on top of each other. So then it looks kind of like this cute outline line, but it's not totally perfect, if that makes sense. I just think it's a really fun thing to do. So lots going on on here, I know, and I'm sure I did not cover every single thing, but I want to make sure I show you how to make those GIFs or GIFs or however you see them with the transparent background. So we're going to go ahead and move on to that now. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you how to turn yourself into a little GIF. I know some people say GIF. We're going to stick with GIF here in this video from here on out, so I don't have to keep saying both. But basically, I'm going to show you how to do it with an iPhone, but there is a way to do it with an Android, I believe, as well. So I'll try to walk you through both. I don't have an Android, so I haven't tested that, but I'm guessing it works. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure that you do is have something on that's going to contrast with your background. So you don't want to wear the exact same color that your background is. So for example, if you're standing in front of a yellow wall, you don't want to wear a yellow shirt. And then you're going to want to find some good lighting. So right now I'm right in front of a window, so I have a lot of natural light coming in. So either in front of some natural light, maybe you could take it outside, maybe you could set up a light or something, but you're going to want to make sure that you are well lit. So then you're gonna wanna phone a friend to take your picture or set up a self timer or whatever you wanna do to get your picture taken. If you're using an iPhone, then you can take a live photo. I like doing that. I feel like it's the easiest way to do it for me at least. A live photo is basically like a mini video. But basically you're gonna press that live button and then I put on a three second timer so I have time to like get back away from the camera and then I do whatever I'm doing and I keep moving. You wanna keep moving during the picture so there's movement in your GIF. Now, another way that you could do this is you could use the Instagram app to take a boomerang or I think boomerang might have their own separate app too but you could take a boomerang of yourself so then basically that's like a little mini video as well then what you're gonna want to do is get that little mini video either the live photo or the boomerang or whatever it is from your phone to your computer <laughs> so I like to airdrop it to mine because I have a MacBook and I have an iPhone so they're both Apple products so I can just airdrop but you also could like email it to yourself or however you usually get photos and videos from point A to point B that's what you're gonna do next. Okay, so once you have your little mini video onto your computer, you're going to want to go to the website unscreen.com slash upload. I'll have a link to that in the description box. And then you're just going to drag your short boomerang or your short video into this upload clip spot. So I'm just gonna show you this one right here. And you can see like my outfit isn't super different from the background on this one and it was fine. It'll take a second to load. It's doing its thing right now. It's making the background transparent. And there it goes. Now all you have to do is press this download arrow bar right here and download it as a GIF and then it will download it straight to your computer so there it is right there and then what I like to do is go back to my virtual meet the teacher and then I can just press this right here and drag it right in to my Google slideshow isn't that so fun so that is all for this video I really really hope that you enjoyed it and that it was helpful to you in some way like I said I am no tech expert at all but a lot of you requested to see something like this if you end up making your own virtual meet the teacher I would love for you to share it with me and I would love to see it so definitely tag me on Instagram if you do make your own and post about it I would love 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 to see it thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye